Hello everyone, happy Sunday, happy first of the year, we made it. My God, was it a rough year last year, 2022. I am thankful for 2023 and I am excited about what God is gonna do for us in 2023. He is most definitely moving us forward. Um, I was just talking with him, asking him, what would you want me to come on to say today? And so he says, I'm coming back quicker than they know, quicker than they think. And um, time is running nigh. So I just wanted to say that because I believe that's what he wanted me to say to you all. Um, and to say, you know, let us keep pushing forward on this widow, widower journey that we're on. Um, some of us had just lost loved ones and um to tell us to keep pushing to keep pushing to keep going keep waking up it's hard um i was listening i was talking to um, my girlfriend and she was telling me about um the marriage club um page that we're on that um several women have lost their husbands this past week you know this last month and um, I, I just feel for you all, um, it's not an easy journey. It's not like people think that it is, like it's any type of other death. Um, a marriage, a spouse is different. It's different, you guys. It's a different, it's a different feeling to lose your spouse. So, and some are saying, you know, I don't know what to say, how to say, how to approach that person. Um, so you just don't call them. But trust me, they need you to call them. I need you to call me. I need you to check in with me. Um, I always say that I do have a great support group, but I'm always thinking about that widow or the widower that's left behind um, that does not have the support. And let me tell you, with the support, it's very rough. But if you guys know someone that is a widow or a widower, please take the time to call them, check in, get on their nerve. Even if they don't want to initially want to talk to you because it's too new, that's fine. But don't forget about them. Don't forget about us, you know, a year down the line. Please don't forget about us because some may not be as strong as others. And, um, the widow and the widower, they don't want to live any longer without their spouses. So, you know, you have to have somebody to step in to encourage. Um, even if you have not experienced um, losing your spouse, just a good thing to say is just call and listen to that widow or widower and just let them um, talk to you. Um, ask them where did them and their spouse meet at? That's always um, a upper. I don't know why, but it is. It's like you if you just watch them, they will just light up when you ask them where did they meet at. And so just say that or just say, hey, I'm just calling to say hi. Don't say, well, you know what? I had to put my dog down or my auntie died or my grandma died. You can't compare the deaths to a spouse. And that is one thing I'm just telling you guys, you may not know, you may not know because it hasn't happened to you, but me, out of this experience of being on a widowhood, um, I had to literally apologize to people that had experienced this before me because I had no idea to the magnitude of hurt that it can cause with you losing your spouse. Um, so be, uh, gracious to them, you know, um, be kind to them and, um, you know, just listen to them. Um, they're going through a lot of things. I'm going through a lot of things, um, besides, um, the fact that I lost my husband. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm going through as well, and I'm sure they probably are too. Um, so just call and encourage. 
I've been doing these videos for a minute. Some have um, responded and some have not. So I want to say to you, if you know a widow or a widower, respond, say Happy New Year's, call them. This is a difficult time for us. We are pushing through. We're trying to push through and with God's help, and he has been helping us. But please, please, please do not leave the widow and the widower behind and the orphans as well. If you know somebody that had children and, and they lost both of the parents, look out, you know, do something. Sow a seed into, into their lives, you know. So I just wanted to hop on and say that. Say Happy New Year's. Um, and uh, please keep me and my family lifted up in your prayers as I'll do the same for you all. But don't just look at the video and not respond. So, and I want to say to us widows and widowers out there that God is on our side. He does have us. And sometimes he does separate us from certain people. And... Um, for a reason, for whatever reason he may have. But I just wanted to say, um, we made it, you guys. We made it, and We made it, Pam. We made it, Michelle. We made it. I mean, it's some of us that, you know, Sandra, it's so many of us, but we did make it. We made it over that threshold of 2023. When we thought we wasn't going to make it last year, um, but we made it and if we just keep pushing forward and knowing that God still has purpose and destiny for us and he's going to do great things through us in the midst of our grief in the midst of our hurt in the midst of us missing our husbands um, he is going to do great things in us trust me he is going to do great things he's going to do great things for us and he is going to get the glory out of the great things that he do through us because we are being a yielding vessel for him. And that's the only way we've been making it through this thing. And for those of you that have just lost your husbands just now, just hold on. Hold on. I know it hurts. I know you don't want to live. I know that you are angry with God. But trust me, just hold on. You just have to make it through the process, make it through the process, but he can, can hold you. Some didn't make it. Some didn't make it, but we made it. We made it. And sometimes I feel guilty even in saying that we made it because I feel like my husband didn't make it. So sometimes I feel like because they didn't make it, is there, are they were they not still blessed? <sighs> my God, we made it. I say my sister-in-law was somewhat ill, but I, I guarantee you if my brother was here, she would still be here. We have to push through this thing. We got to we have to build one another up. We have to you know, if you guys know widowers or widowers, don't leave them out there alone. I've joined this grief share and look and see if you have grief share in your neighborhood or if you don't, just go online and look it up and find out who has it virtual. It really helps. It makes you feel like you're not crazy and you're not alone and the things that your physical body and your mind is going through is not um, normal it's, it's quite normal across the board so look into grief share see if your church has it if your church doesn't have it you can join it it's uh, twenty dollars for your book and it grief share is free like counseling i mean it's really good it's really good counseling so look into grief share and grief share is for for everybody and stop thinking that widows are only old women, old men. That's not true. They're beginning to be more widows and widowers that's coming younger and younger and younger. Wow. My God. Don't leave the widow behind because 
Boy, I tell you, the Bible, the word mentions widow over 81 times. Well, over 80 times. At least 81 times. So we must be so important to God. We are so important to God. And in his word, when you get in there and you get to reading some of those things, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going through some things right now. And I'm like, man, you don't know that what the word says about the way you all treat widows and orphans. You know, wow. I just wanted to get on and say Happy New Year's and hopefully... I have encouraged someone to keep going, to keep moving. If you need someone to talk to, if you need someone to encourage you in this area of being a widow, please inbox me um, and I will get back to you. Um, I have a Honored Widow, it's Facebook Honored Widows, and the YouTube page is God's Love for the Grieving Widow. And please pass it on, pass it on, because you guys, people that you guys know that have had lost loved ones, this ain't no joke, y'all. It ain't no joke. It's like, who, who, who? Mm -mm, it's not. Again, I have the journal, God's Love for the Grieving Widow. You can order through Amazon or you can order from me. Um... Uh, my book will be coming out this month. <laughs> my honey's birthday is uh, January 14th, and prayerfully I will have it out by then. But this is the journal, God's Love for the Grieving Widow. And um, I am just determined to keep my husband's legacy going and um, because he used to say all the time when uh, people passed away, people just forget about them and so the good the bad and the good the bad and the ugly I am determined to keep his legacy and it also heals me to help others to um, to just talk to others that are on this journey with me because this is a lonely walk um, when you you know when you're alone and by yourself and when you're used to having your spouse with you and talking to your spouse and talking about decisions that you have to make um, it can be very lonely no matter how many um, other people you have around you because you just simply want to have your spouse with you to make the decisions that have to be made um, that are important decisions to make and so for you all that still have your husbands please 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 don't take them for granted and um, may they not take you for granted continue to build on great memories and um, with your family and with your spouses and again get your affairs in order um, your living trust let that be your new year's resolution get you some life insurance if those are things that you haven't had and, and you've just been spending in other areas, please, I beg you, because this will come back to you. This conversation will come back around to you. Trust me, one day it will come back around to you. Love you guys and um, Happy New Year. <laughs>